It's been a tough time on Maryland's waters, and the season is just getting started. According to the DNR, so far this year, eight people have lost their lives in boating accidents, including a seven-year-old girl in Kent Island, and a Silver Spring man went missing after his boat capsized off Terrapin Beach in Stevensville. It's very serious, and, and we need to emphasize in the most emphatic way to all our, 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 our vessel operators uh, that uh, they have to exercise caution an extreme amount of caution at all times. Colonel George Johnson, superintendent of the Natural Resources Police, says because of the number of early deaths, officers wanted to get the word out quickly, considering the total loss last year was 12 people on the water. While alcohol remains the most common denominator when it comes to fatalities on the water, common sense saves lives. It's been proven over and over again that if you do those two things, operate safely and wear that life vest, you'll come away safely and, and uh, we will not be dealing with fatalities on our waterways. And it's not just boaters who need to be aware, but swimmers too. Over at Sandy Point State Park, it can be a challenge keeping thousands of people safe along the one and a half mile beach. The park's manager, Ranger Steve McCoy, says it's actually parents who play a big role by knowing where their kids are so lifeguards aren't distracted. With that many people, it's easy to lose track of them, so anything they can do to help keep track of their children and take responsibility for them will help make everyone safe at the park. And if you'd like more information on boating safety and swimming safety, the DNR has a number of resources. We've provided a couple links on our website, WBALTV.com. In Annapolis, I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL TV 11 News.